Hey guys, welcome back. It's me, XR Hammer, and I'm playing Dragon Quest Builders 2. Now, in the last episode, we actually got quite a lot done, right? So we got most of the silver bar done, and we made the shower, and we did, you know, a few other things. And we've got a new NPC, and we found jewels via treasure bag, which was pretty cool and weird at the same time. They are still not cooking, as you can see. And we, <laughs> we have a base battle to do. And in the last episode, right, I've been running around with this iron axe for quite some time. And it's not mine, it's Malrock's, right? So I'll just give it to him now because I completely forgot about it. Everybody is armed up as well with iron broadswords. So that should make this fight ridiculously easy. And the fact that they can't get in past that iron. Yeah, this is going to be a walk in the park, right? So let's talk to good old Malrofferson and see um, what we're going to... Yeah... Let's get it done. Us and Silver Locks. Because he's not quite Goldie Locks yet. He's getting there. Slowly. Defeat the enemy. Let's go. Open the door. <laughs> Ow. That really didn't hurt. Wow, that started to hurt. <laughs> right, let's eat. Uh, yeah, that is attack power. Hey, they broke. Really, dudes? They broke my door. <laughs> oh, no, they didn't. They got in because those imbeciles were stood in front of it. Wow. Right. I need to stop getting hit. <laughs> Famous last words. Stop getting hit. Right, there we go. Now it's just Mr. Hood to take out. Oh, there we go. He's down. Ten more enemies. Where are they? Oh, wow. Free Hood. Come on. Let's take them out before they all power themselves up. Right, we took one out. I suppose that's better than nothing, isn't it, right? Let's get it done, that's two. Wow, they are giving some meaty XP. Oh, there's four of them. <laughs> Good eyes, Hammer. Good eyes. Right. Oh, come on. Look at this. Kapow. Wow. <laughs> I'll take that any day. This is really not that difficult. Just going to say... I think I broke a rib. <laughs> wow. Look at that. The monster's defeated. And I leveled up. Winner, winner. Yeah, just a normal level up, I think. Yeah. Nothing special at level 17. Look at his axe, though. Oh. Beautiful. Even pokes through the <laughs> stone underneath it. Wow. Right. <laughs> cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are. Oh, a flute fragment. Uh, okay. Hmm. Oh, we can use it to search for gold. Interesting. Yes, looking for half a flute. Oh, Ordelia. Of course, this crazy old lady is going to know um, where it is, isn't she? Um. Okay. Okay, I will meet him down there then. Oh, is she going to give me some more food? She is. Look at that. Hee <laughs> hee, who's going to kick off this time? Fuzz love birds. Come on, Ordelia. Right. So they're all going to go off and eat nothing. And drink nothing because... Just because. Right, and we are going to venture... Into the mine. Are we in the lower level? Oh, right there, look. Even better. So we'll go to the old lift. And we'll uh, go find this echo flute. Or the other half of it, should I say. There he is. You alright there, big man? There you are. Of course. Okay. I can bash my way through that. I'm pretty sure I can. Old Dougie. Yep. Uh, smash. Oh, look at that. 
And another Kasmash. Whoa, hello. I didn't mean to anger you, mushroom dude. You did. Well done, Dougie. Really, Dougie? Come on. They're mushrooms. You'll be fine. <laughs> oh, I knew I was going to get poisoned. Did you guys see how quick Malroth shook that sleep off himself? Like, that was incredible. That was amazing. He literally like, got put to sleep and then woke up. That was amazing. Right. Where are we? Ooh, sand. Hello. Is there anything in the sand, I wonder? Should we have a quick nebby? Probably going to be absolutely nothing. No, just sand. Not that I need any more of it. Okay, why is... <laughs> Everybody just stopped. Oh, an ancient temple. Okay, I remember this bit. <laughs> I don't really like this bit. <laughs> I'm sure we can find it without you, Dougie. You go home. Go home, Dougie. Go home. Right. Wow. Look at this place. That's amazing. All right, let's go and activate the uh, Navi Globe. Beautiful. Right. Uh, yeah. Let's head on in here. Oh, really, Malroth? <laughs> I was just about to use my Windbreaker then. You suck, dude. You suck. Oh, yes. The giant statue men. Hmm. I wonder, how am I going to solve this puzzle? <laughs> uh, right. Hammer over here. There's a door that's unlocked. Well, let's go through it then, shall we, Malroth? Oh, camera angle. It's evil. Right. I was trying to read this, Malroth. Why do you have to be so close to me? Right, so... Uh, yes, so, if I remember rightly, what we need to do is pull this one, and then pull, no, pull that one, and then pull this one, and get that red block on the blue block. <laughs> so simple. Yes. And we get a silver key. Beautiful. Right, uh, let's... Because I don't need them. I've already got my own stuff. So I'll eat one of them. And we'll use the uh, silver key just up here. Beautiful. Right, can I take these with me now? Wrong. I don't think I can. Oh, I can. Look at that. Oh. I'm going to have me some nice slidey doors, I think. Oh, Drakis. Green Drakis. Evil green Drakis. They were dropping me vine apple. They could drop me vine apple all day long. Right, let's try this way. Oh, hello. I've got the feeling one of these is going to be a booby trap. Oh, hello. I'll take some silver ingots. Oh, hello. Mimics. I've always loved and hated mimics in every dungeon game I've ever played because yes they're cool and you know it's a chest that attacks you yada 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 but they just why do they have to hit so hard honestly why it's just so unnecessary it really is anyway let's continue through this uh, lovely d hello Ah, I think I remember this one as well. Let's uh, read the sign just to proc any, um, there we go, any talking. Proc the dialogue, right. So, where is my red square? It's over here. So, if I, uh, so I'm going to pick them up just because it's easier. So I'm pretty sure I need to uh, pull it to there. And then, is it this one or that? Pull it here. And then pull it up again. Alright, it's not letting me do that. <clears throat> so, I know now know I place that one wrong. So, I'll um, pull it back here. 
pulley back down. I think I've gonna have messed myself up a little. Let me just grab some. That'll do. <laughs> That'll do nicely. Right, and then I need that there. I think. Is this gonna work now? Yes. There we go. Right, and then I shall pull it up. And then pull it along. Beautiful. Really? Right, pull it up. Pull it along. And then I'm going to pull it down. Yeah. I think, and then I'm going to stop it there. So I'll pull it along, and then pull it up. After putting that there. Beautiful, look at that. Super puzzle solver. Give me my key. <laughs> Let's get out of this place. Right. Oh, hello. But I want this. Because two is always better than one, right? <laughs> Let's go and uh, take this dude out. Without, hopefully, taking too much damage. Really, Malroth? He, like, knocked him straight into where I was going to jump. Right. Now. This one looks a bit ominous, doesn't it? Alright. Music sheets. I'll take that. <laughs> I shall take that and leave that door. Just for the sake of... See, I really don't use this view very often. Just because it's... Um, I don't know. It doesn't seem right, you know. Is this a place where... Hmm... Yes, I thought it was. You uh, you can fall down into it. I am going to fall down into it. I'm just saying, because that is still locked. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, just jump down. Windbreaker so that we don't take any damage. Look at that. And then we are going to take out all of these skelly bobs. Come on, Mr. Bony Pants. Ah, no. No. <laughs> Wow, Malroth, calm down, son. Oh, no. Oh, no. I got hit. I got hit. Where would I be without Malroth, eh? I would definitely not be winning right now. Let me get some, uh, get some grub in me. Power me up. There we go. Beautiful. Take this. Go, Malroth. <laughs> I love that dude. Right. Now, which way was it? <laughs> There's another chest down there. Gateway here. Uh, ah, okay. I have not got one already, Mal Rufferson. Not yet. Ah, oh, the stamina bar. Come on. They should have gave you infinite sprint. That would have been lovely. Alright, that's an iron broadsword. And I still have no key. Unless it's in here. Beautiful. Right. <clears throat> Let's go uh, this away. Open sesame. Beautiful stuff. Right, now, if I remember correctly, there was nothing else in here. As far as my memory can recall. Right, so, up, up, up the stairs we go. Even though the camera angle does not like that. And I do believe we come out. Yes. Right back where we started, right? So we're going to have to run all the way back round to that room. So, I'll see you when I'm there. So, here we are again. Right, so, can we pick him up? We can indeed. So we'll pick him up, open the chest, and we get a lovely gold key. Beautiful. Right, so now we have to take Matey back to where we were. Oh, hello. In that main room. So, I've got the feeling that just dropping down, eh, I'll take 11 damage for the sakes of uh, speed. Right. How he can run carrying this giant thing, I do not know. <laughs> Game physics at their finest. Uh, wrong work. Ah, that little pile of rubbish there looked like a... Um, chest. Again, I don't think my eyes are working. <laughs> Let's go and uh, pop this one statue man up here. We'll pop him on the left. The left looks, it feels right. 
There we go. Right, so there is up there. Um, is there anything down here? Let's go and have a quick look. Oh, more skelly bobs. Come on, Malroth, do work. Oh, wow. What a Malroth. You saved my bacon there, dude. Right. I'm doing the old... <laughs> if you guys see my uh, Dragon Quest Builders playthrough, the, um, the whole jump attack thing saved me so many times. This. Just jump and attack, jump and attack, jump and attack. Like, honestly, it works. <laughs> it still works in this game. Probably a little less so in this game, but... Eh, you know, beggars can't be choosers. If you're no good at combat, that is the way forward. Right. I'm not saying that I'm no good at combat, but sometimes, you know, when it's spawning in 12 skeletons at once, it's a little bit difficult, you know. A little bit tricky. But it turns out there was nothing down here anyway, so that was a waste of time. <laughs> so, where I was are we? This way, right. So we'll go and have a look, because this looks like a gold lock to me. So let's use that. Open this up, and off we go. We got any more puzzles to solve, I wonder? Ooh, two doors. All right, there's two chests in here. Oh, look, and broken floor. Ha! You'll never trick me. Not again. Can I? Hey! Ah, oh, come on, then. Let's go down. Oh, more skelly, but why do I do this to myself? <laughs> like, I already knew it was there. I could have just easily have not jumped down, but no. For some reason, I want my player doomed. <laughs> just, wow, look at that. This is exactly what I mean. Like, jump and attack, jump and attack. See, look, jump and attack. It works. Oh, no, enemy tracking. <laughs> The enemy have decent tracking on this game compared to the first one. They were so dopey. Like, so dopey. Really? Is this still a thing? Wow. Okay. That's over and done with. <laughs> Uh, I forget about that roll call thing every time. It's just, ugh, yuck. So frustrating. But there was a silver key down this way, so... Oh, which I need to get out. So, I mean, eh. They give us in one hand and take us in another. Right, let's, uh... Oh, what the other set of stairs this time, then, shall we? Beautiful. Nothing down there from what I can see, so... Let's go back this away. Right, now this place is pretty big. So this area might span over two episodes. Right, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's going to. Just make sure there's no crumbly floor. Oh, scorpions. Why are the other two not getting aggressive? They did their, you know, like, I'm angry with you sort of animation, but then sat there doing nothing. How odd. I'll take it, though. Right. A dirty dogu. I know how to beat these. You have to use your hammer. <laughs> See, if you... Right, yes. I I didn't realise he did that if you started hitting it with your hammer. But if you hit it with your sword, obviously, look, you do no damage. Because it's as hard as rock, believe it or not. As a <laughs> Malroth was nice enough to tell us. Wow, he hits like a rock as well. And there he's gone. And all they drop is stone. <sighs> so rude. Right. Oh. Lovely stuff. Right, so I'm going to heal up and open these two chests. Beautiful. Some rusty wrecking balls and a gold key. Which I'm going to use straight away going through there. But what I am going to do is I'm going to call it an episode here. And in the next one continue the quest for the second half of this flute. Okay. So yeah guys. I really hope you all enjoyed the episode. If you did be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out guys. <laughs>